welcome back to my channel my name is amy if you are new here and today i thought i would give you a little haul um this is stuff i picked up when i went to the klaxon charity shops um last week um i only got a couple of things but i thought i'd still show you and actually the first thing i'm wearing today is just this red long sleeve top um i have tied this little shirt over it um it's not too much to say about it it was two pounds i got it from the new havens hospices outlet which is great obviously i work at haven so maybe bias but it's everything three pound or less and then you can also do four for ten pound if you pick up four three pound items does that make sense so yeah i picked up this top it's nice and simple um it's just good when it's colder to have stuff i can layer um and i thought this is sort of skin type top is my fave for layering i it's quite plain i am thinking like i'd love it if it was like a guest top can i put guests on there with my cricket copyright sue me i don't know I might just I don't know I feel like it'd be cute if it had a little sink on the chest but I don't know it is really cute um it's a bit see-through which is also a reason I put on this thing um but it'll be fine I'm wearing a black bra today and I would probably wear a nude bra underneath it if I was wearing this or I'll turn to a red bra um but yeah I picked up this I thought it was cute you guys know I'm loving red at the mo so it was something I actually spied up when I'd gone to help set up um so yeah I was really glad when I picked that up um next thing i got was from the world food aid charity shop this was six pounds and it is just like a um hot hair tong um but it's like a roller brush i've seen people use this more like with soft bristles to get kind of like a blowout look but equally get just some, like some little swooshes and i actually did it in my hair a couple of days ago it looked quite nice to have some little swooshes at the end it just gave my hair some body because when i straighten it i do feel like it loses its body although i say that like the next day it does get some body back um but i just thought this would be nice to play around with and yeah i just feel like i'm definitely into doing my hair a lot more now than i ever was last year in fact last year i had my hair out more or less every day whereas now i'm having it down most days um so it's just really nice to have another tool. I do also think I might start curling my hair a little bit more. Because I've just been straightening it and then wearing it pretty much like this every day. But I do think it'd be fun to curl it now. It's definitely got some length to it. I think it'd be nice to start curling. But yes, this is £6. Works absolutely perfectly. And it's just fun to have a new hair tool. And I feel like when you're a bit um and whether it's going to work for your hair, to get one second hand is great because... If it didn't work for my hair for whatever reason, it was £6. So I didn't like, feel like I've just spent... 80 pounds on a hair tong that i'm never going to use um so yeah i'm really glad i picked this up i'm excited to play around with it a little bit more and kind of get used to it then the next thing i got was three pound fifty this was from sense and i actually got this from my charity shop gift card and it's just this red with black lace mini dress now this says it's a 3xl and it is slightly baggy but again i tried this on over a black turtleneck which is how i would wear it anyway because it is quite low and it looked really nice i'm imagining this with my black cowboy boots and like lots of nice jewelry and i feel like it would just be a cute little moment it would be nice if i found my little harness thing i've been looking for which i haven't been able to find um or not for a price i'm willing to pay anyway um but yeah i feel like it's giving grungy but it's giving cute like it's giving abby my alter ego and i just think it's really fun um it's something a bit different i don't normally gravitate towards this kind of more old school lace but i thought it was fun i don't know where it's originally from let's see if we can find out it's got kind of this inner layer i know it's me shen it's shen curve obviously um 3xl but i don't know it was kind of giving vintagey vibes to me and like the um style and the lace um but yes it was giving shien quality if i'm being honest but yeah a nice little funky piece for me to learn the style because it is something slightly different then before i go to the last thing i did also buy my sister categories she had texted me the other day saying that she'd seen a reel i'd filmed um Annoyingly, I'd filmed it a lot. I filmed it ages ago. So by the time she saw it, it was almost definitely sold. Um, but she said, oh, please keep an eye out for categories when you're in the charity shops. So I've been looking for probably about two weeks and I found it. It really goes to show, like, I know it's so much harder shopping secondhand if you're looking for something specific. But I almost always do find it. It just takes me a little while and it's not normally that long. As I keep on saying in my thrift with me videos, I get like hyper fixated on finding one thing. So if I'm not looking for 
categories for example i seem to fail to look at anything else and we'll just look for that which is great until you have like a really long list of things you want to find um but as i said i got her categories within a couple of weeks of looking i mean board games are slightly different than like a specific clothing item but there are so many board games in all charity shops or more or less all of the charity shops that if you are looking for one specific you probably will find it if it's one of like the big classics like categories so i got that for three pound that was from citizens advice charity shop again in clacton three quid i mean board games now can go for like 20 to 40 pounds on amazon so like if you are looking for a board game definitely go look in the charity shops that was different if you're looking for a new one um that's just come out it's unlikely you're going to find it in the charity shop but you'd be surprised how quickly things do go end up there so if you are looking for a specific board game definitely check the charity shops you can say you've got three pound for scatteries then the last thing i picked up was this ne necklace this was £1.49 from age uk and it's just this gorgeous kind of layered necklace so you've got one two three four chains on here and then obviously this one in the middle has got this kind of red ribboning through it and i just think that looks really really sweet like i could have worn it today with this outfit in fact let's pop it on and have a look but yeah so my friend penny had got from the charity shop a juicy couture bracelet making kit iconic and then i think it was laura that picked up when we went to when we were thrifting, she picked up this gorgeous um, layered chain belt. That, again, had that kind of ribboning through one of the chains. And I think it might originally be Chanel that did that kind of thing. But I think it's very juicy couture early 2000s. And I kind of love it. Um, I'm just trying to take the price off. I don't know I sometimes really struggle to get these prices off. And you know they should be really easy. But sometimes they just... My brain doesn't work like that. I think I'm tying it into more knots. This is what it looks like on. Oh, why can't I do this? But yeah, I thought this was fun. And I'm liking red at the moment. I'm really liking wearing necklaces. And I've been wearing my cross necklace more or less every day. And I need to stop wearing it every day because I hate it when I get hyper fixated on things and wear it constantly because I've got lots of other nice things that should be worn. But here we are. No, I'm just tangling it more. She's cute. And I'm excited to wear her and hopefully i don't get hyper fixated and only wear this necklace hopefully i wear all my necklaces still but i just think this is gonna look really really fun like i love that with this this looks stunning um there's just something about a bit of red in a necklace that i love and i do have a necklace that has a bit of red but it's quite long um so i don't wear it too much unless i'm wearing something that's like super high neck i don't know i just get funny about necklaces and lengths um but i do really like that one as well that one was from shelter but yeah my new necklace so cute um that's what i picked up i hope you enjoyed the vid i would have tried on that dress for you so you would have seen it um but yeah this is what the top looks like because i'm not going to retry this on um but yeah thank you so much for watching i hope you enjoyed it if you did don't forget to give it a thumbs up comment what your favorite item was down below subscribe if you're not already and i'll see you in the next one bye